Cleopatra here, and today's video is going to be Cleopatra and Pharaoh, or is it Pharaoh and Cleopatra, one of the two. So I don't know if the previous stuff recorded, I hope it did, but uh, for this part, here is the uh, tutorial, <coughs> kinda. So for this one you need to build houses, and I believe you can only go two tiles deep. But let's do a third and see how that does. Yeah, pods are too far from the road. So this game is two tiles. I kind of forgot because I haven't played since the beginning of last year, so... Um, let's delete those. So, you have to put a well here. There's not much you can do but put a well, roads, or housing. But the other stuff begins to unlock as you play, play along. Okay, let's do the map here with the water, see how that's doing. No access to drinking water, so let's put another well down on this side. There we go. I should have made we maybe uh, put a well in between each thing. Um, that's working out a little bit. Uh, let's do another road this way. Because I do want to place another um, uh, Okay, that's why that's there. Okay, but I can go ahead and add another well on this side. Let's put it maybe right there. Followed by houses. Like so. On this side, let's do another road. <coughs> do it that way. Put a well over here. I may just need another one on this side. And put another one. Okay, that's new. Okay, so now it's time to do the hunting. And the overseer's menu is unlocked. And let's begin with the well. Okay, I guess that won't work, but... There we go. These are dry patches of land, so you cannot put houses or wells there. Because otherwise, dry, pa dry patches are made by no grass there. Okay, need to do a hunting lodge. So let's do that real quick and put it over here. And we need a granary. So let's put that, I may not be able to put it there, but <clears throat> let's do another tiny road here to keep the granary away from the houses. Because if you put it too close to the houses, the, strike, the building itself would take away from the appeal of the neighborhood. Same with the bazaar, but they can go a little bit further out. I 
cannot see the population that's unemployed, but let's go ahead. Wait a second, hunting lodge down. That way more people can have a job and get the uh, ostrich meat. This is a nice start to a small village. I've already built the granary, as this part here says. Oh, I didn't know that could happen. Clean water. Okay. So, water supplies that hires people to carry the water. So, let's go ahead and do that, and we can put that over here. And they'll walk around the whole part here. Too bad there's no roadblocks to block this area off. It's not available yet. But once you hire, or they hire people here, a water carrier goes around and with drinking water for everyone. And that'll help your um, dwellings uh, evolve a little bit. As you can see, this game is made by the same people, for those who play the, these games, the same ones who made the Zeus Master of Olympus games. That's why they look very similar in uh, the UI. Although in Master of Olympus, Master of Olympus, I don't think you can do the two tile uh, houses. Um, but I'll try that the next time I play that particular game. Yeah, putting the two um, hunting lodges here was a good idea to keep the food coming. That way the bazaar is always um, filled with food. Let's see what the special orders are. Okay. I guess that feature comes in handy later when you need particular uh, things for higher types of houses, housing. Let's see what that is. Desirability, so that's not locked, unlocked yet. Bringing the appeal up is done with gardens and statues. Let's try see if that helps any. Maybe one over here. I want to make sure what I said was correct with being able to have not having houses there. I'm new here. I wonder what the city will offer to a person like me. Okay, so maybe with the water carriers they can um, have these evolve despite not having the grass underneath. Let's take a look. Yeah, it does. So that's good to know for future reference. Let's see. W. Let's see if norm end goes for normal. No? At least you can toggle between the two. So pressing W on the keypad of your keyboard brings up the water. Uh, whatever this is called, the water overlay. <clears throat> so 
see how much they have. 200 game. That's good. Let's make a look over here. Yeah, see, even when it's this far out, it has a bad effect on the desirability of the area. However, I do need to... Let's take a look. Delete open. The blue means they cannot be deleted. They're the tutorial messages. Let's take a look real quick. Six meager shanties. So we got, or had, um, I thought I saw it a minute ago. Okay, firehouses, that's important for keeping things from getting set on fire. So you see there's a fire there, so we need to clear out those and build new ones, like so. I may have to bring it back, I mean bring some more houses. Here. Um, let's bring some more on this side. Like so. And give them another uh, water supply victory. So there we go. Well done. By filling your people's bellies with nourishing food and protecting their homes from fire and collapse, you have helped this fledgling civilization take its first step on the long road of history. Awesome.